A missing red kelpie could be the critical clue in solving the disappearance of Northern Territory man Paddy Moriarty. Police believe the dog may be alive and are appealing to animal services across the country to help find it. Detectives still have no suspect, but have admitted a long-standing feud is part of their investigation. Christy O'Brien reports. There have been dozens of disappearances over the years here on the Stuart Highway. So what is it about Paddy Moriarty's disappearance that's so intriguing? For one, there's only 13 residents in the town of Larimer. His dog is gone, and many suspect there's a murderer in their midst. Hey, we're coming in for a beer. Good boy. 70-year-old Paddy Moriarty hasn't been seen since he drove his quad bike home from the local pub on December the 16th. Searches of bushland found nothing. Now the dog is the only clue they have to go on. So I want to reach out to all the dog shelters, animal shelters, um, vets or any person who's uh, come across or a new owner of a red Kelpie cross about 12 months old, um, anywhere in Australia. Part of their police investigation is a decade-long feud between the town residents. So we're investigating the feuds, and if that feud leads us to working out what happened to Paddy, then so be it. But it's not the only thing that we're investigating. Public and Barry Sharp started selling pies at the pub, putting him on a collision course with his business rival, Fran Hodgetts. In the middle of this dispute was a publican's oh, thanks, mate, Paddy thanks, Moriarty. Yeah, you're a darling. <laughs> in this interview with the ABC in 2011, they both spoke of the tensions. So this fellow from Daily Waters, Paddy Moriarty, he moved over there. I had big, big, big trouble, big trouble. Though anyway, not to worry. Every dog that has his day. No, Franz has got the worst pies. True, I used to go over there and, and the dog wouldn't eat me pie. We don't okay. know nothing. Fran Hodgetts is adamant she knows nothing about his disappearance. Okay. She also wasn't his only enemy. I'll be honest with you, I felt like breaking the guy's neck sometimes, but it never happened. The theories are running wild. 2% um, might be aliens, right? There ain't no f***ing aliens that have captured Paddy, and if they had it done, they would have dropped him back by now. Christy O'Brien reporting there on the mystery in Larimer in the Northern Territory.